Hi, just a quick look at a returned BM036 clamp meter here. I think this is the first one that I've had returned. I've sold quite a lot of these. It's a quite popular unit. Um, and uh, what's the fault report is uh, started reading seven to eight amps DC current and cannot be zeroed. Cannot be zeroed. That's weird because that's a software function. Um, every day, so it shouldn't matter in theory what the offset is. Uh, it should be able to zero it. Every day it seems to be reading higher and higher. That's interesting. So when something changes over time like that, maybe you suspect, you know, some sort of capacitor changing or something, perhaps. Um, it now reads 14 amps. The AC clamp measurement works perfectly fine. So AC works fine. It's just a DC thing. Okay. Um, it still reads 14 amps. All right. Well, let's turn it on, shall we? So we've got volts AC. That's going to be that's going to be hunky dory. Volts DC. Yeah. So AC. Um, yeah. It, he says AC works fine. So let's uh, put that on DC and overload. Hello. Overload. <laughs> overload amps. Let's put it on the other position. AC is fine. And DC. And there you go. 85 amps. Wow, what was it reading before? Seven to eight amps. <laughs> now it's 85 amps. <laughs> or overload on the other uh, range. That is, that is nuts. Wow. Okay. Um, and ohms, I, like, I assume, like, does that functionality still work? Um, it, it should. And 10k, bang on. Um, so... Yeah, so the resistance works. I assume that the uh, volts uh, works as well and the electric field detection. Yeah, that works. All right, so that's interesting, is it not? Um, like, <laughs> why? Oh, I didn't try and uh, zero that. Um, so yeah, we'll put it on DC and 86. Wow, beep, beep. It can't zero that. Are you serious? Wow, because that's just a software feature. Like, it doesn't matter what that reading is. It should be able to zero that. So, um, maybe it's, yeah, it's just it's just too large. And the software knows it's too large. So the software knows something's wrong. Maybe it's, you know, the software's being smart or whatever. So, uh, <laughs> Now, of course, clamp meters will actually have an offset on the DC uh, range, especially on the uh, lower range here. This one's uh, the lower range with 10 milliamps resolution here. And that's why it um, it shows you up here. It's like the, the it's a positional uh, thing. You're going to get more accuracy. It shows, you know, that's what these arrows show. It shows that if you're doing like the low current measurement, the wire needs to be, it's more accurate if it's in that location here. You know, if you just have it in the middle of the clamp here, it'll still work, but it won't be as accurate as it will be if you actually put it um, up there in that positional uh, space. So that's on the lower uh, current reading. But anyway, um, because they're susceptible to the Earth's magnetic field. So um, that's just, that's not particular to this meter. All meters um, have it. So if you have one that has even a lower range than this, like the Uni T one, it's all over the shop, right? Um, so yeah, it's nuts. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's open this up and let's have a squiz. I assume it's not a battery uh, related issue because we're not getting low battery. So, oh, by the way, this company bought uh, three of these. So two of them, um, I, I think they bought three. So two of them have worked uh, fine. And anyway, I don't, I don't expect anything on the front uh, board because it works, works hunky dory. It's going to be something to do. Geez, the overexposure on the camera there is really, really something, isn't it? Um, so we've got multiple pots in there. Anyway, ribbon cable looks good. Uh, the four trim pots, I have no information on what those uh, trim pots do. I do not even know I'm a dealer. Um, for these, I do not have, uh, Bryman do not release schematics uh, at all. So I don't have schematics. I don't have uh, calibration procedures or anything for this. So I don't know. I'm just, you know, shooting around in the dark, really. I'm just seeing like if there's anything obvious uh, at all inside this. I'm, I'm, I'm doubting it's probably some, I don't know, maybe a component failure or something. Uh, not exactly sure, but anyway, it's really interesting. Gives an offset like that. So maybe the sensor's gone, Ski? I don't know. Anything obvious under here? We're going to have to get the whole board 
out, I think. But uh, just looking for any visual indications. That resistor there doesn't look... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the solder on that that resistor just <laughs> that's the uh, input that's the high voltage uh, series input string that's got nothing to do with reading the uh, current though so uh, all looks fine it all looks okay there not seeing anything obvious so I don't know, rest of the board maybe of course the uh, the front end board there's going to be Nothing on the front end board. I like how the uh, BMO36 has a ton of protection on here on its own dedicated board. No wackers. It's uh, it's really quite the little beastie. I, f I forget what the rating is. Cat 4, 300 volts. Cat uh, the 3, 600 volts. So it's not too shabby. So that's our input uh, mux down there. That's all sort of like the more multimeter y stuff than the current clamp. I would think, um, but basically I do believe like it's just like a multi regular multimeter chipset yet the current clamp just converts it um, into a voltage which the multimeter just reads and that's uh, that's basically how your clamp meter is going to work. So let's take the ribbon cable out of there. Oh that's soldered in there. Ah oh, forgot about that. I use a connector over here but they solder it on the other side. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Anyway, there's, there's not much under there. There's a few passives and stuff. Here we go. We are in. There's our board. So I'll flip that over. You know how I mentioned capacitors before? Well, there's an awful lot of tents on there, isn't there? Hmm. So, but once again, without the schematic, I'm kind of uh, just in the dark. These solder joints going over to there look pretty good the bottom of that board though I suspect you know if you're gonna have a problem that's where it's gonna be because the multimeter seems to work fine so I'm thinking that that's but to get that board out I'm gonna desolder those three pins over there because that's annoying like they used a header here and there's no header over here <laughs> they're just soldered in <laughs> that's really annoying yeah, my guess would be that it's that front end board, um, Bryman chipset, of course. They won't tell you what chipset that is. Yeah, yeah, nah, because the multimeter works. So that's all the multimeter stuff. It's you know, it's got to be. You, you think it, it's almost certainly has to be on that board there. Get all three at the same time, maybe. Camera. Ah, that's really annoying. <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> So that MCP uh, 6002, I think that's AI on the end there. Um, that's a uh, that's one of the microchips uh, op amp jobbies, and then I've got another little analog devices jobby up there. I don't know what an AO9 is. Um, but yeah, there's nothing obvious there. There's no solder joint issues that I can see. So, it would have passed its factory test and why it got worse over time. I don't know. And as I said, I'm doubting any of the, multi like the multimeter functionality because it seems to work otherwise. Just looking at the joints there, you know, like you could retouch them as a matter of course. Uh, but otherwise that looks fine and dandy but the symptom is is that it slowly got worse so I don't know because each one of these is of course factory uh, calibrated because they have to be like manually um, each one has to be manually tweaked uh, it could be a dodgy pot yeah wouldn't rule out a dodgy pot like a dodgy contact one of these pots they're only the single turn jobbies but, you know, there's, well, it doesn't look like there's any contamination on there, but you never know. It's a little hairy scary sticking out there. What's he doing? It's probably worth actually putting it back together and just giving those a tiny little tweak either way. Just, eh, eh, just basically put it back to where it was. Um, and just, you know, work the contacts again 
and see if that's a problem. Just reheating all those pins. Well, after touching up some things and putting it back, no, we're getting exactly the same as we did before. So, yeah, that's not good, is it? Um, I guess I can put some current through there and see if we actually get an offset. Um, that'll actually show that the uh, sensor's working and uh, and the amplifier and stuff, and it's just some offset issue, maybe. Okay, I got three amps. It's currently 89.0, and sure enough, it goes up to 92. So, yeah, um, it does actually measure, and it's bang on. So, yeah, it looks like there's some sort of offset issue. Hmm, if each one of those a little. Uh, uh, tweak back and forth. And we'll see if that changes anything. Uh, no, 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 it's an offset issue. Uh, bugger. Um, there you go. So yeah, I'm probably not going to spend any more time on this now. I just wanted to um, have a look to verify that and uh, have a quick visual and um, and see so it doesn't seem to be um, it, well it seems to be like yeah some sort of offset issue so without a calibration procedure and um, a schematic and other stuff like that I guess I could ask Bryman for it um, yeah I'm not going to go chasing that any further at this stage but uh, there you go I um, just wanted to show you that yeah these things do fail um, you know, all meters have a, uh, you know, a mortality uh, rate. And as I said, I think the customer bought three of these and two of them perfectly fine. This is the first failure I've had. I've sold quite a lot of these now. Um, so it's a very popular and robust little meter. But, you know, there's going to be one out of every, you know, a couple of thousand meters that uh, comes a guts up for whatever bizarre reason. But, yeah, I'd say there's some sort of um, offset issue there so if you notice something that i didn't see on screen here uh, please leave it in the comments down below but uh, uh, uh anyway that's it catch you next time